I am in the process of launching my campaign, Politicians Are Criminals. I'm here now to connect it to the crimes that politicians are doing. One of those crimes is fracking. I'm here to uh, see Lord Chris Smith, to see um, how much he cares and appreciates the situation and the risks that relate to chemicals in the ground, whether that's from landfill or fracking. This conference is, uh, you know, many of the people in here are the, are the fracking choir, the shale choir, intent on wasting their money and just wrecking the planet. And one or two of us in there have a different view of the future. Kai has been campaigning for a long time. He's trying to get answers from Chris Smith, who was responsible at the time that his son was killed. Nobody should experience what we've had to experience. My son Zane died and I'm grievously harmed and paralysed in a wheelchair. That man's child was killed because floodwaters mixed with toxic waste that had been dumped in the ground nearby his home. Now since um, the 8th of February last year when my son died, we've taken quite a number of steps in order to try and um, find out and reveal the truth. We faced walls of silence, but at the same time we have to continue forward for the protection of others. What we're going to end up with fracking is millions more tonnes of toxic waste that can only go into landfill. Just as this child, Zane, was killed by leakage from landfill and ministers refused to be responsible about it, that is going to happen with fracking. It is very important that everyone gets to the bottom of absolutely everything that, uh, that happened. Uh, because only that way uh, will you have any sort of, uh, uh, of uh, satisfaction in knowing what really happened uh, in this very tragic uh, circumstance. We're living in a world where chemicals are going into the ground, whether it's landfill, whether it's hazardous landfill, whether it is fracking, and we care about people, and we want to know that you care about people, Absolutely. so and that this doesn't happen. This thing, is a serious the, case. The important for thing in all of these uh, uh, issues uh, is that both the environment and the public yeah. are fully and properly protected. Zane is my biggest issue because we need answers. It's not about of blame; of it's about answers. Yeah. But we must protect the public. I'm, three months I, ago I, do and have I haven't to, had a response. I, I do have to get in. But we would like to know whether this is just a PR afraid. exercise. Um, it's certain, certainly not a PR exercise. Why are Edelman PR fronting the shale gas task force? This task force is supposedly being set up for the benefit of the public, but it's being run and organised by Edelman PR who are well known to create fake grassroots organisations um, in order to fool the public. And I think that's exactly what's happening here and he wouldn't answer the question. I wrote to him three months ago, he still hasn't answered. I target the, poli the politicians who are criminals, who are completely mixed together with the monopolies and the banks. Don't call them politicians, call them criminals. Keep on saying criminals, criminals. Barack Obama, criminal, Cameron, criminal, Putin, criminal, and all the rest, criminal. <laughs>